Of course, in our project, we always want the front of our building to be facing the lower half of the sheet or our plants, however we are presenting it. But in actuality, our Revit gives us an option to actually rotate it to where the true knot is. So that brings us to the topic of this video, true knot. True knot is the actual location of the knot in real life. So you are going to try and mimic the knot position in Revit. But the issue will now be like, how am I going to do it when I want my site or my floor plans to be properly oriented in Revit? So Revit gives you the option of having to transition between your true knot and your project knot easily without altering anything in the project. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so now our knot arrow is currently facing this side. This is looking like a south arrow, but it's facing this, the actual knot arrow. That is because our project is actually the other way around in real life. So to do, to change this thing, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this pro properties panel here. Under this properties panels, you are going to see this orientation and you are going to click on it and change it to true knot so now you have changed this to true knot you are now going to go to manage tab under this manage tab you are now going to go to these positions click on this drop down icon and you are just going to click rotate to true knot so you are now going to be given to the option to rotate this gizmo so we're just going to pick this point here and we're going to rotate it by 180 because that is where the actual knot is so depending on the project you have it can just be you may need to just rotate it by 60 degrees 45 degrees but in this project we are going to give it a total 180 ton so i'm just going to click enter and i'm just going to click on it so as you can see this is now our project this is how it is in real life so this is where the knot arrow is so if i just go to annotate under this annotate i'm just going to go under symbols then i'm just going to click on this and i'm going to play this standard knot arrow so if you want to load a different kind of knot array you can load it depending on what you want so i'm just going to place this so now we have this now you will now be wondering how am i going to place this on seat it's very simple you can always go back to this properties panel here you can just click on this orientation and you're just going to change it from project knot to Okay, from true knot to project knot, then it's going to apply. So you can see you can easily transition depending on what you want to do. So if you are placing your plans on sheet, you can just put set it at project knot. If you are placing your plans or you want to do a site analysis or something, you can now use true knot. So this is just how to use the two. Rev Revit gives you option to manipulate these two um, factors and just use it as you want to use it. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to reward us by hitting the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also hit the notification to get notified once we release new videos. With that said and done, I'm going to wish you good luck to the next video.